Hello. In, in this video, we will look at um, what happens to the temperature, uh, the final temperature, when you pour some hot water, hot water into cold water. What is the final temperature um, of the mixture going to be? And and the, and what we'll be doing, we'll be using it, the equation that energy transferred is equal to mass um, times specific capacity times change in temperature. So this is a, a specific heat capacity style question. So let, let's let's start off. Let's say it's a bit like a cup of tea and adding milk, but the other way around. We're adding yes, hot hot water to cold water, hot tea to cold milk. So let's say this is a beaker of hot water. Let's say we have um, say. 80 millilitres of water at 70 degrees C and we're going to add that to a beaker of water say 20 millilitres um, of water at 30 degrees C so what will be the final temperature of the mixture? Okay, All right, let's, 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 let's rub this off and get on with it. So, we have, now I'm going to draw the beakers again over here. So we have, here's our two, two beakers of water here. So we have here we have um, 18 millilitres at 70 degrees C and 20 millilitres at 30 degrees C. Okay so and that is going to be poured into there. Theory is here. The energy lost by the hot water is equal to the energy gained by the cold water. Heat flows naturally from hot to cold. So we could write by the conservation of energy, energy lost um, from hot water is equal to energy gained by cold water. Okay, so that is that is the, the theory. And now we'll start putting the equation, which is the specific heat uh, equation, um, specific heat capacity equation, which is so we have um, from from Q equals M C delta T, we will have mass hot water times the specific heat capacity of water times the change in temperature. Now the change in temperature is going to be 70 minus the final temperature. The final temperature of the mixture, which we'll call temperature final, must be equal to the energy gained by the cold water, which is the mass of the cold water, okay, times the specific heat capacity of water, multiplied by the final temperature of the mixture, minus um, the initial temperature of the water, which is 30 degrees C. So we've done our mathematical modeling and we set up an equation. So that's mass hot water, mass cold water. Okay, now, so if I rub this off, I want to add some numbers. Now, what's the mass of the hot water? Well, we had a volume of um, 80 milliliters and one milliliter of water, uh, one milliliter of water is equivalent to um, one gram. Now we're going to do this question in grams. We're not going to use SI units, we're using grams. So therefore, um, the mass of the hot water is 80 grams. We've got 80 there. Okay. Um, 80 C bracket 70 minus temperature final is equal to the mass of the cold water. Similarly, um, the volume of the cold water 
equal to 20 milliliters. And that's equivalent to 20 grams. So that's 20 C times the final temperature minus 30 there. Okay, so now we have an equation. It's all, all mathematics from here. The specific heat capacities are the same if it's water, so they will cancel like that. Okay. We can also div divide through by 20. So the 20 just cancels out to become 1. So 1 to that, that disappears. And the 80, that cancels out to give us 4. Okay, like that. Then we can then we need to multiply out the brackets. So four times seventy is four sevens. Uh, is two hundred and eighty. Four times the final temperature is minus four times the final temperature is equal to the final temperature minus thirty. So if we rearrange that, we bring final temperatures on that side. Um, the numbers onto that side, we will get 280 plus 30 gives me 310. Must be equal to 5 times the final temperature. And if we divide 3 by 5, we will get the final temperature equals. Um, now I should really be able to do this in my head, but I'm going to grab a calculator because this is live. Divide by 5 is equal to, I'm sure you worked it out quickly, me, is equal to 62. So temperature is 62 degrees C. Now we never had to use Kelvin, although Kelvin is, is, is a better temperature scale uh, for, for, for doing things like gas laws, um, because it was all about changes. And 62 degrees C sounds about right. So therefore the question, if it sounds about right, the question is, it's likely to be correct.